Welcome back to my guys. It's time for another light novel volume review. Welcome once again to my channel guys. It's time for another light novel uh, review. This is going to be on volume one of Looks Are All You Need. Subtitle, Sheikah's Crescendo. Um, now this one actually was better than what I thought it was going to be. I, um, well, I guess I won't start with that. First I want to say thank you to Yen Press or Yen On, uh, which is their side company that does light novels, for sending me a copy for me to review for you guys. Um, I have... I haven't been getting as many light novels as I thought, and that's just because I, I request mainly manga, but I might start requesting more light novels because I've been enjoying reading these light novels um, and learning more about them. A lot of them, unfortunately, are not getting manga adaptations, so you lose a lot of good stories. Um, so, yeah, that's another good way to keep up with uh, what's releasing in Japan. Before anything else, guys, if you have not done so by now, subscribe to my channel. I'm pre-recording this uh, weeks before it releases uh so the season has by now started uh in my channel so i'll be posting uh my first impression videos but hopefully i'm back to posting four to five videos on yen press and yen on um and their other companies so if uh, you guys want to ca catch on to all those reviews the best way is to subscribe to my channel Okay, so yeah, I was intrigued about it. Uh, usually I will read some summaries here and there for light novels because they're a lot of bigger commitment than a manga. A manga, even if I don't like it, I can read through it pretty much in a day or two, but light novels take me longer. So I did look up um, what was it about and there was no reviews at all. I found one and it was really discouraging review to be honest compared to what it is um that review was talking about it, it almost seemed like they read the title and then they just wrote a review out of the title which is a little bit disappointing to be honest but um oh well it, it is what it is um okay so let me actually talk what it is about because from what i see there ain't that many reviews on this series um it is volume one so we're gonna continue seeing more of it hopefully um it follows the story of a girl called Canada Yui, and now she is a V singer, or a, you know, she likes to sing online. Um, not many people know how she looks. She's very much has become what she is famous uh, through her voice. Now, there is a top private performing arts academy that uh, reaches out to her, and this is all like in the first first chapter, um, and they basically want her to go to the performing arts school and basically become better than what she is, right? Um, there's a whole struggle there, but she ends up going, and that's where the main struggle of the series begins. And this is where some of these, I guess this reviewer just kind of stopped reading, or, or well, I don't know, or, or she didn't even read the whole thing, but it, it follows this narrative where looks are all you need, and that's kind of what the school mindset is on. Um, and they're focused on beauty, if you're beautiful, if you're cute, if you're dressing the right way, all about fashion, all about um, if, if you have the right clothes, the expensive clothes, uh, and if you're not there, like if your beauty's not there, surgery, are you getting it? Like what are you doing to enhance more and more and more um and it's not like in your face every chapter but it is sprinkled enough around the series that i can see why it could be off-putting for some people uh because it is a reality that most of us live in um unfortunately even guys nowadays will will be also pressured in all these different uh, things of life but mainly falls on a girl um and she is striving to basically focus on i want to be successful because of my voice while every all this other stuff is coming from new characters and stuff like that and yeah i, I think it's it she does embrace some of it but at the same time she sees the negativity out of it and we we see it through the the series and i, and I think that was missed uh in the review that I, that I read uh it almost felt like they were just so mad about how it was so focused on beauty um but in reality that's just how it is like a lot of people 
a lot of singers will hide behind a camera or will hide behind a mask or whatever it is um, before they show themselves because of fear of not looking the part, um, not being liked, so on and so forth. It's a little disappointing, to be honest, that they have to do that, but um, that's the sad truth to a lot of these these people who want to be successful, uh, which is why we have shows like The Voice and all that where they purely want to listen to their voice and not judge them by how they look right um from the get-go so it kind of follows that whole mentality uh of show business and i think it was it was great we have um her getting unwanted attention from other characters which creates issues as well as girls being jealous for who she is and i i think at the end of the day they're jealous that she can be this successful without having to try to be all these things that the school teaches to be. Um, and she she is praised by people, but mostly we have a lot of negativity for, for who she is. Now, there is a love interest around the story. Um, he's kind of a bland character, so I won't really talk much about him, but uh, he is there from the beginning, and uh, it supports her. So uh, overall, I think it's a great story because it... Uh, puts in light a topic that a lot of us like to ignore and like to, I don't know, I, I feel like there is a middle ground with all this. Um, I don't think it's healthy either to think, well, I am who I am, right? And no no one should change me. Because I felt like I was, I was falling in that mentality at one point in my life. And that's why I became so unhealthy, uh, physical wise, uh, because I was like, okay, my wife is going to love me for who I am. And she does, she did. Um, and she still does. Um, but in my mindset was, well, it doesn't matter if I, if I gain more weight, right? It doesn't matter if I keep eating and if I'm keep drinking, uh, Coke and Sprite and all these, uh, bad drinks that I shouldn't be drinking, you know, I I'm talking about. 12 packs per day guys um not healthy whatsoever that earlier this year it was no surprise that i was pre-diabetic i had high blood pressure all this kind of stuff that uh, i've been working on this year luckily i caught it early enough where i can myself put myself working hard to lose weight and stuff like that and again it's not so much to please a society based on beauty it's more for health wise so i think there is a middle ground there is i think a point where we should say well no you shouldn't be just too comfortable with yourself because there's also hygiene there's health risk there's all, there's a lot of stuff that you should probably still take care of um but no we're also not going to go to the extreme where if you're not x and y beautiful then you are not valued in the industry so healthy in between and i think um some people are going the complete uh, right direction and left direction. And I think uh, it all falls into how we view the world. Politically, a lot of us are, are very either very left-sided or very right-sided. And we don't understand that the middle ground is sometimes the best choice to grab the good things from both sides and combine them and have that middle ground. So um, I think that is something, a topic that um, it's a sensitive topic. You, you can be walking in eggshells with, with certain people if you mention it, uh, but it still should be com coming out of light. So praise to, to the series. I still think it's a great series. Go check it out. It's called Looks Are All You Need, uh, specifically Shika's Crescendo. So go check it out. Give them some love. I believe there's a manga in Japan already out like only four chapters so eventually we'll probably get a manga here as well um, so yeah hopefully I have a chance to review it as well thank you for your love and support guys and like always don't be strangers see you guys